So let's see what they have over here in this room. Which I time at? Will we time at? These are some big ass rooms. I like this. I I, I love a nice entryway you know a little sitting space before you get into the room it's given very very wealthy very well off you know i love that look how pretty this is so yeah you know i said we gonna see a, a, a house you know the the chatter it was the chatter that was going on while i was doing the tour i heard y'all talking shit i i really did i really did whispering for what? Because I heard y'all. I heard y'all. Don't do not do that. So I said, you know, listen. You you want to catch an attitude because I don't went to another, uh, I don't went on a, a haunted house tour without y'all. Listen, okay, well, guess what? We'll go ahead and go together. You know, because I didn't ask y'all, do y'all want to go on all of the tours? I didn't ask y'all, you know, so perhaps I should have asked y'all, but I don't feel like I should have, you know. Sorry, not sorry. Okay? Mama got a life too, you know, so... I didn't think that it would be an issue, but once I said it, y'all like, and why would she go on a uh, to a honey house tour without us? And she know we wanted to go to a honey house tour. We only been to two honey houses, and it's Halloween time. We wanted to see more honey. You know, it really didn't take all that. It didn't take all that at all. But you know, listen, I can't tell you how to uh, feel, but what I can say is, you could have did it in a better way. That's all I'm saying. You you could have did it in a better way, okay? Perhaps I could have done it in a better way as well. But, you know, now we know. Now we know, okay? I know y'all want to see some more haunted houses. We didn't see a lot of haunted houses. I didn't realize that until I started talking about it. And I said, oh, damn, that was me going to all the haunted houses. That wasn't us. That was just me. You know, it'd it be like that sometime. But I know. I didn't know if y'all would have appreciated seeing um other lands as opposed to just haunted houses because it's just the house you know you just walking through a house as opposed to a land it's lots of other things that you can see on the land but you know uh, when it's a house like this this is it's it's just as nice as going around a land this house is how i would expect morticia adams to keep her home very much so organized everything has its place and there's a space for everything i love this i love that they have these little wood dolls this um the the kids room that we went into had a wednesday doll and so i guess this would be like morticia's room and i really really like this Look how nice this is. We were together, darling, every night. Is, when we were together, darling, every night is Halloween. Look at this. Beautiful. Given very much so fancy schmancy. I love this. I love the red walls. Love them, love them, love them. So I'm thinking about ditching the intros to the videos where I do like a, hey y'all, let's check out such and such. I do like doing that, but I also like getting right into the video. So, you know, I don't know. I'm on the fence about that now. I don't know how I'm going to do it. What character is this? Because now I know it's a theme going on whomever space it is it belongs to they have a little doll here so this is gomez so that was morticia room across the hall and so this would be gomez's room i'm assuming i'm thinking that's what it is because we saw wednesdays yes look at the, the painting yes i'm catching on you know never too late to catch on so yeah so i'm not sure how i'm going to um I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I, I'm, I'm leaning towards getting rid of it. I really am leaning towards getting rid of it. Is it difficult to add into the videos? No, but I do sometimes feel like it takes away from the cohesiveness when I come across lands where I feel like I'm not able to do that because the lands might be a little too dark. And so when I pan out, it's just like panning out into darkness. And I'm not going to do an intro saying, let's come check out this place and everything is, is damn dark. So I don't know. But this, um, the last couple of videos, I haven't been doing that intro um, because I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to try different things out for real, for real. And I do kind of like being able to just like, do the intro song and just like come out 
you know is that like an intro would that be considered like an intro look at this candlestick it's getting very beauty and the beast um kind of like a opening or like a snippet i don't even know what you would call it when i just kind of like give y'all a little this is what we're gonna see like a sneak peek if you will um I don't know if that's really necessary um, as, as long as we like get right into the video I feel like it's okay to not have it but I'm still on the fence about it especially because um, vlogmas is coming up and so I don't know if that's going to be something that is going to be necessarily needed you know because I just want to get right into it I want to get right into it that uh, this mirror looks like it is PBR and I don't have my mirrors on y'all so they did an update and I will say my computer does not sound like it's about to blow the hell up with the loud ass fan anymore because the fan was crazy loud like I still hear the, hear the fan but with the um update before this last update I could tell that it was pulling a lot of resources from my computer and it was loud but with this new update things are very quiet they're much much quieter like i still hear the fan look at these pictures they're so pretty oh oh okay i take it back immediately everything is quieter um like the fan is quieter and the performance does seem to be like less draining on um the computer and i really like that abandon all hope ye who, ye who enter here so we're gonna we're gonna wait on that so let's see what they got going oh look at this chandelier you know we love a good chandelier so i'm really happy about that um i knew it was something going on with a lot of like bug splats and stuff um, but because i was like they just did an update there's no way they're gonna do another update but they said yeah yeah we're gonna do another update so they did this last update now this last update is supposed to still be um what are they supposed to be doing they're supposed to be rectifying a lot of issues that people are having um still with the latest pbr update and stuff like that and so they were saying like if you bought your computer within the last decade or so that um it should work well um now with this update and all of that and i'm just like you know hopefully hopefully they change the voice and all of that stuff so i'm just like i don't know they it seems like a never-ending thing Thing where they're constantly trying to like fix stuff i feel like they went too fast with this pbr update it went from like just a minor just regular second life and they really like surpassed black dragon in so many ways in my opinion i just feel like it was a lot it was a lot they should have taken it a little easy it was a it was a quite a big jump and i feel like they're now realizing that they're really paying for that because people computers they they weren't ready for that now they have an arrow here with a bookcase can i walk through here is this something to click oh it is something to click what's this it's a secret room we love a secret room what does it look like? What it look like when it's closed? What it look like when it's closed? Ooh, I love this. It's very hocus pocus. So yeah, so I'm liking the new update. Um, and what I have noticed also is it put me at a lower setting. Now, I have come to realize that when you um when second life puts you in a lower setting it does not necessarily means like this is the setting that your computer needs to be on in order to run second life efficiently the way that I look at it is is that they're saying this is where you could be this is the lowest point where you can be at and still run second life you know adequately this is this is like a safe space for your computer to be at now if you want to advance it you can go ahead and advance it from this spot but your computer will work fine at this level as well now some people might look at it and say well you know they put me in low and if I go to medium I'm having issues that's that's not my that's not my testimony you know that that's not my story so they put me when I started out they put me in I think it was between mid and high I want to say it was between mid and high. was it like low and mid it was one of those 
and I think it was between mid and high. Normally, um, with the last update, they had me in high. So they put me between mid and high, and then I can go to high and I'm fine. I can go to ultra and I'm fine. I've done um, a couple videos in ultra and I've been fine. I don't think I'm in ultra right now, but I don't have an issue um, up in the position that I'm in as far as going from like mid to high to ultra I don't have issues like that so I do kind of feel like they're like this is a good starting point for you if you want to just kind of make adjustments from here you can so I will say I was talking all this smack and we did make it to the third floor rather quickly and i have really really been enjoying this i'm really enjoying this but yeah so hopefully every time they do an update i'm always like oh this is his oh, what was his name fester this your room fester oh it's big in here every time they do an update i'm always 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 like I hope this is the one. I hope this is the one that really just like makes everything better for everybody because even in like the update on Firestorm, they were talking about how they wanted people who have been in Second Life for a while and people who have like what they call like lower end computers to be able to still enjoy um, Second Life. And I was very glad to read that because I really thought that they were trying to weed people out and I did not like that. I did not like that at all. I'm like, listen. And don't try to make it a money thing because it was feeling like that. It was feeling like, oh, well, you know, if you don't have a gaming computer, then you're probably not spending money like that in Second Life. Because what I do know, one thing for sure, two things for certain, the old heads, the people that they were considered to be old heads in Second Life, which are just not by age, but by time, like the people that have really been in Second Life for a long time, they spend coin. They they spend coin. They are the rigid. They are the original Sam owners. Okay, and it's nothing to a boss. That's really how they look at it. So it's like, please don't look at it from the point of view of like, oh, well, if you have a lower end computer, you're not spending money on Second Life. No, I'm not spending money for a, a higher end gaming computer. No, I might not be doing that, but I'm spending coin in Second Life. And they probably did some research and found that to found that out to be the truth because, uh, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that because a lot of the people that are coming into Second Life, they do not have a place. And there's nothing wrong with not having a place to stay on Second Life because you really don't need to have a place to stay in Second Life. I thoroughly believe having a place in Second Life is part of the role play that you choose to have in Second Life. They have um, creators have made it where you don't need to drop stuff on the ground. There was a time. There was a time where you had to raise things to the ground in order to open them up. And that wasn't even very far, very long ago. Is this his thing's room? Is this, it was his name Thing or It? I think it was Thing. I don't know. It was one of those. Um, Not too long ago, we had to do that. So is this this thing or it? Is this is this is? It was one of them. I, I can't remember the name. So the fact that the creators have made it where, look at, are these disguises hilarious? So the fact that the creators have made it as to where you can just add things to you and you can add it into your inventory that way, in my opinion, is a testament to how um, things have changed as to where you really don't need to have a place to stay or have res right someplace in order for you to use the items or put on clothes and stuff like that in Second Life. So where there once was a time where you definitely needed to have um, a place to stay in order for you to rest things and stuff like that, you don't need that anymore. Oh, this is the little boy's room. Why, what's the little boy's name? Oh, I forgot his name. Pugsley Adams. That was his name. Pugsley not this is a knife so this is the adams family when i tell y'all they they decorated this land very nice i am very pleasantly surprised when i tell you guys very pleasantly surprised very pleasantly surprised look at this Oh, Pugsley always was doing the damn most. Every time he was doing the damn most. 
But look at how nice this is. So yeah, I hope you guys have like legit done the update if you haven't. Now, um, Mama Aries was having issues with the Firestorm viewer and her computer and she ended up going to the Second Life viewer and it has really worked like a charm for her. So I know Firestorm would hate to see them lose a lot of people to the original Second Life viewer because the whole reason for them even coming around was because people were having issues with the Second Life viewer. So now if the Second Life viewer is now the place to go, that's going to be something. Commit no nuisance. I love this room. It's so pugsley. Uh, I love how they have captured each individual atoms um their whole aesthetic i really really like that beware pickpockets and loose women not loose women how nice is this so y'all the heat is on once again it is chilly out tonight i'm trying to see if i could climb up this ladder but it's not oh wait i'm getting a chair is this gonna oh okay I didn't know whether or not it was going to let me up. I said, is this just something to that's here for decoration? So remember when I said I saw the third floor and I said it looked like they got some upstairs and, and like the little attic's place or space? They do. Look at this. It's so pretty up here. To be able to mesh together like the old, timey, spooky, haunted house feel but also have like a really nice decorated space i really love how they have done this place look at how beautiful this is this was three floors but this was three floors of treats i will tell you that these this is absolutely amazing i've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this place can you walk up here am i gonna fall look at this is this like a little dance thing? And then you can dance up here. Look how pretty this is. I love this place. I'm so glad I came here with y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.